Welcome to the CHL Memorial E-Cup presented by Kia. Round one action in our 64-team bracket. We're whittling things down, and today we have a treat. It's an OHL versus a QMJHL matchup. Here in the first round is we're going to pit the St. John Sea Dogs of the Quebec Major Junior League against the Owen Sound Attack of the Ontario League. That's coming up next, and what a fun ride it's been. Nick Merrick alongside Dan O'Connor continuing our action here on Saturday. Dan, it's a busy slate of games, and we're just rolling right through the victories. Well, and uh, you're doing a great job. Your voice is uh, is hanging in there, Nick. You've had a lot of play-by-play -play to do, and it's uh, it's been awesome to listen to you. It's been awesome to be a part of this day. Uh, whether you're a fan in the Western Hockey League, the Ontario Hockey League, the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League, uh, anywhere throughout the Canadian Hockey League, um, just a, a terrific event. And um, while we have a moment, while we get ready for this game, shout out to the crew, uh, the, the folks that are working feverishly behind the scenes to make this entire presentation go for you. If, if you're enjoying a minute of this, if you're enjoying hours of this, just know that there's a team um, working feverishly around the clock to bring this all to you. We appreciate you guys. We thank you guys. We recognize you guys. Thank you for all the hard work uh, behind the scenes to help present the CHL Memorial E-Cup presented by Kia. Since we're playing virtually, a virtual tip of the cap to the guys at Vizion and the CHL League, of course. Let's get right to the game action. Puck drop is now. And game number 26 of our slate underway as the opening faceoff taken to the offensive end by Owen Sound and a takeaway by St. John in front of their goaltender. They'll work it D to D and back up the wing. No lane was there, so they cut it to center. Here come the Sea Dogs on the right wing side, trying to separate the players in the offensive zone, and back it goes to the wide circle for a one-timer back blue line. There was a lot of traffic to get that one through, and they found it all the way to the nets as it stopped a couple of times, and a giveaway in front. The goaltender opted to play. St. John makes them pay. One nothing Sea Dogs here in period one. That's a bit of a lucky break, but St. John will take it. I mean, that's Vladislav Kotkov, right place, right time. I mean, you got to, you know, you, you get a little bit aggressive playing the puck sometimes as a goalie, and, and Kotkov was just right there to pick that off. And a bit of an unfortunate miscue there for Owen Sound, but uh, St. John is going to be all about it. They lead one nothing, and uh, so far so good for the visitors. Guzda played that puck over to the corner, and that's what was the costly play there for the first. And two minutes and 50 seconds in, a goal and now a penalty. So St. John getting rewarded for its aggressive play early, putting pressure on Owen Sound and going on the power play as well to start things off. So this is where you can really buckle in and see what's going to happen if you can try to take tides in this first period and snatch all the momentum. Well, Matthew Struthers in the penalty box for Owen Sound. So you, you get an early one nothing lead for St. John and now a power play. So, you know, not a turning point necessarily, but an early turning point. Yeah, perhaps I think if, if Owen Sound can tie it shorthanded, great. If St. John can take a 2 nothing lead, I mean, it puts them in the early driver's seat early in this game. It was a tremendous block, too, by the Sea Dogs in their own zone. They'll operate the power play for another 65 seconds, cutting past the defense, spinning to the forehand, and the shot denied. Getting in front of it again for a good save on the penalty kill. It sets up a faceoff to the goaltender's glove side. And, you know, that time the goaltender electing to just cover up the puck, you know, once bitten, twice shy kind of thing. You want to make sure that you're allowing your team to win a faceoff, which they did, and now Owen Sound clears. On the wing, looking to get away. Final 30 of the power play, but we're looking shorthanded right now as Owen Sound sends this one from circle to circle, and it's banged up the ice on the left wing. In move to separate. Now to the slot, one-timer low. Great save right in front. The opportunity, Guzda able to get a piece of it. And the attack, on the attack. To the right wing, bumped out to neutral ice. Stolen play. Here come the Sea Dogs. End of a penalty. A shot off the post. It goes to the corner. They try to wrap it in front. The defense was there to steal the lane. Good look at the end of a two-minute power play. And a good back-checking effort as well by St. John. Here come the Sea Dogs. In white on the left wing. 
Bumped off the puck. Do they get possession back between the blue lines? That's center. Now to the right side. Cutting through a couple of skaters to the backhand across. Picked up by Waugh as he works behind the net. And able to scurry one up the boards to McAllister. Shot blocked. Waugh getting it back. Now McCollum, excuse me, down low at the goal line to Waugh. Resetting it back up in the feed all the way down the ice to the goaltender. And no icing because it was cleared by the offensive team. In the zone. Trying to find some real estate through center ice. one nothing the score. Nine to play in period one. Owen Sound working it through. In the slot back. Blue line. The backhander deflected in to tie the game. What a find. Put a puck on that. And the deflection by the centerman. Beats the goaltender near side. Aiden Duda having a Duda day. Well, uh, that was really good puck movement by the Owen Sound attack. And, and, you know, you get the puck to the point and and great job by the defenseman just to kind of bait the defense a little bit, some traffic in front of the St. John net. And there was Aiden Dudas right there to, to redirect at home. He's an impressive young player. Uh, right place, right time for Dudas. Wilson took the shot from the point. Burrows the second assist. And we are all square, 1-1, midway through the first period. We love the tight hockey games and right off the rip. Exactly what we have in store and a good shot generated too by Owen Sound to help get a little life back. But then St. John responds across the crease. One timer to the top shelf. Put that corner pocket Cameron McDonald. And that was a wonderful job by Bizu to take it wide to the outside. That play doesn't happen uh, unless... You know, that play is made along the left wing. Uh, that centering effort. Uh, and Johnny on the spot in front was McDonald to wi to wire it in. But uh, that was just impressive. That was just a, a quality move made to the outside. And uh, right off the hop, St. John taking the 2-1 lead in this game as we continue to battle in the first period. Riley Bezo representing the Sea Dogs in the Memorial E Cup. He represented the primary assist on the go-ahead goal here in the final minutes of the first. Takeaway by the Sea Dogs. They throw it in front. Guzda with a great block with the left pad. And the attack will come out through center. Working it right wing as they snake their way in. Over to the sideboards, down to the corner. Swung in front. One timer was wide open. They just put it a little wide and trying to block the passing lane up the wing. Cycling into St. John. Here's Rowe. Over to the right for Leonard. Taken away. Leonard gets it back. And he'll spin to protect over to the right side. And coming across center, draws a penalty. So an active power play. Getting another chance here in the first period with a 2-1 lead. Pearson gets the gate. Uh, laying the lumber on the opponent just a little bit. Maybe a bit of an excuse me call there. An excuse me trip from Caleb Pearson. But it's enough. And so now you're, you're late stages of this period. You're Owen Sound. You're down by one goal. We're not in must-kill territory yet, but it's the second time you're shorthanded. You need to come away with a penalty kill here. You cannot go into the dressing room down by more than one. Goose is able to put his mitt on the puck to melt it. So the faceoff now goes to the right side. McDonald taking the draw for St. John. He'll win it. And from the wing to center, trying to connect for a power play tally. It wouldn't go. St. John, left wing. Cycling, a lot of space up top. Good job closing those lanes across the slots. And now the attack will take it the other way. From the wing, putting it back over to the opposite circle. Sea Dogs cutting through. A couple of nifty deeks to work their way across neutral ice. But a teammate was down on the other side of the ring, so it's going to be an offside whistle with under 40 to play in the power play. And teams trying to get a little fight going here in the final moments of the first. But they won't take the bait. No, you, you want to keep momentum going. If you're, if you're St. John and if you're Owen Sound, I mean, you're, you're 15 seconds away from a crucial penalty kill late in the first period, down only by one. Over right wing side, coming back. Into the zone, a long-range shot, easily steered off by the stick to the corner. And the attack trying to move it up center. Poked off and regathered. Potential last rush of the period with five on the clock. 
Now down to two, a centering feed wouldn't connect. And this one's gonna be a 2-1 game. Heading into our first period intermission, Guzda with a couple of stops, but he turned over the first puck in period one to get the Sea Dogs on the scoreboard and a goal right after the power play. Made it 2-1. Well, you saw the highlight of it right there, but but I mean, I think, uh, Nick, if I'm either team, I'm encouraged by that period. I mean, you know, an unlucky break there for Owen Salmon on the one nothing goal, but but they force their way back. Uh, you kill off two penalties, which I think is big. That's got to kind of quell the nerves a little bit. Uh, I still think we've got a lot of hockey to go. Shots on goal, though, that's that's a problem for Owen Sound. Outshot 12-1, but they scored on their only shot. So few more uh, pucks towards the St. John net, and you're going to have a great chance. Uh, whether you're watching on Facebook, whether you're watching on Twitch, whether you're watching on uh, the site of your favorite team in the Quebec Major Junior League, the Ontario Hockey League, or the Western Hockey League, the Canadian Hockey League has you covered. Make sure you go on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram and follow the Canadian Hockey League. They will keep you posted on all things going on when it comes to this tournament, uh, games, and just great stories from these players. Make sure you follow the CHL on your favorite social media platform. My apologies if I haven't said it already. Sam Sedley, you see in the top of the corner of your screen, he's representing Owen Sound here in the CHL Memorial E Cup, presented by Kia. Riley Bezo for the St. John Sea Dogs. And Owen Sound still plenty of time to get some energy back into this game. The goaltender coming out to play a puck aggressively. It pays off. Here's an odd man rush forming the other way, but a good back check by St. John breaks up that potential opportunity. Sea Dogs spin move to get around. They put him on the hip and a shot blocked. Good move to gain entrance. And St. John trying to cycle, but a breakaway for Owen Sound. Here come the attack in a diving poke check. User controlled goalie to perfection and a tremendous save to keep the Sea Dogs up one. We got some fire wagon hockey going on to start this second period. What a job by the St. John goaltender to prevent that breakaway chance. Not many players will opt to control the goaltenders on breakaways, but sometimes when they do, it could pay off. And that was a veteran move for Riley Bezo. And we'll melt the puck with under 13.30 to play in the second period. Still a one-goal game, and exactly what Sam Sedley just did for Owen Sound is what you need to see moving forward. Get those chances, allow the defense to generate into offense. You are one shot away from getting this game back to tie game at two apiece as the St. John Sea Dogs will move it over to the right side. Little delay play to get to net front and a great block in front to help out Guzda as this one's frozen. That solid save by Guzda there for Owen Sound. And back to your point, Nick, I, I love the start of this period for Owen Sound. I mean, they, they have certainly, I think, upped the aggressiveness a little bit, and they've had a couple of great chances to score, great chances to tie this game. It's hard to bet against them in the Ontario League. How about 10 straight seasons with 30-plus wins? Tremendous stuff from the attack. And they'll try to move it back on the... Right wing boards, but an offside whistle will halt the action. So we'll take a face off back out of neutral ice. They won the entire league back in 2011, representing the Ontario Hockey League in the Memorial Cup. And uh, Owen Sound, I've got cousins from Owen Sound, so uh, a, a lovely Ontario community. A lot of love in this game as well as we work it across from right circle to left. And the one timer goes for Reynolds. A 3-1 advantage, Peter Reynolds on the left side from Carter Seville. Just shows you how fast things can change in this game. And this is, again, just entering the zone along the right wing. Uh, I thought, you know, Owen Sound defended that very well. They stayed in the middle. They kept the puck to the outside. But, you know, that, that perfect pass was just able to thread its way through. And Reynolds, with his stick down on the ice, able to knock it past Guzda. Uh, a case of good defense, but just better execution offensively, giving St. John a two-goal advantage. Charles Savoy there with the assist. My apology. And Reynolds the finish. The lead up to two. Final ten of this second period. A little backhanded shot shuffled on. Guzda has been very sharp in this game, despite that early mistake in period one. Really buckled down and upwards of 
15 saves to this point. Get the attack and get in the offensive zone. Start generating some more opportunities like they did just moments ago. This is a good rush for them as they take it right wing side. Peel off, back to the blue line. A lot of offense generated from the defensive core in Owen Sound. Back left wing, Lawrence. He'll deke his way around the defense and a little speed to separate. Now to center, cutting. Put the puck over to the wall, just missed the mark. Owen Sound will counter. Right wing stopped, back blue line. And just before running out of real estate, he's hit off the puck. And St. John will regroup it at the center logo. Coming right side, Lawrence, a low laser. Given up by Guzda. Across now, Pearson try to hunt down the puck. Kerwin throwing a stick. And St. John turning it over. Here's another chance. Two on one for the attack. Oh, there was a line change. Opportunity there for a good odd man rush, but the lines were tired. So they had to get off for a change. Not much coming from an opportunity just yet. Now a takeaway. Here's Owen Sound back across looking for Wilson. It's taken in the corner, and the attack will push one to the circle. Good cycle game, but St. John able to steal it. Glued to his hip is the forward back checking. Good bump. Guzda with the toe stopped. And Owen Sound wasting no time getting back up the ice on a rush. Here's St. John to center. Left wing pass McDonald. He bumped off. Steve will move it ahead. Burrow. Back to the wing. The center for Dudas. The goal score. Gets it back. Looks the feet at blue line. The defense was changing. Two skaters are back though. And a couple men aside in the final minute of period two. Another good stick hunted down by Dudas to take it away. 22 on the clock. Dudas to center. Bump back off. Now blue line. Seven to go. Waiting for a chance. He scores. Two for Dudas. And this game back within one in the final seconds of period two. Buckle up. Uh, they deserve this goal. And once again, it's Dudas. The second goal of the game for him. And, you know, this is, you know, shot through a, a crowd you know that the time is winding down in the period but you get enough traffic in front of the net and you stay with it you know owen sound has been able to take advantage of their opportunities and the momentum gained from this goal the coaches will tell you all the time goals in the first minute of the period or the last minute of the period those are killers and this puts owen sound back in the game and this uh, this really ups the ante for the third period I know St. John scored the early tally here in the second period, but Dan was alluding to it earlier. This was like a slow cooker. It was waiting. It was just sitting and marinating and almost ready to come. And then all of a sudden, Owen Sound striking with 5.3 on the clock to make it a 3-2 game. And we have a great stage set for the third. Dots on goal. We're coming there for the attack. Who's the buckled down? He gave up the one, but this third period going to be a dance. Well, thank you everybody for watching the Memorial E-Cup presented by Kia. If you haven't already, another friendly reminder, be sure that you enter for your chance to win daily prizes or you have the chance of winning a grand prize of a $1,000 prepaid Visa gift card. Today's promo code QMJHL20. QMJHL20. You enter the contest at chl.ca slash memorial e cup. Bring on the third period. We got ourselves another doozy here from Owen Sound, Ontario. A lot of tight games in our final day of round one coverage of the CHL Memorial e cup. Dude is taking the draw for Owen Sound on a two-goal performance, trying to help cap this one off. Sam Sedley controlling Owen Sound. He's taking on Riley Bezo, and there's an answer for Bezo across the crease, just holding on, and a backhanded beauty to find on the left side circle goes top shelf. Kotskov makes it 4-2. That's the second goal of the game for Kotkov. If you recall, he was the one in the first period who kind of pounced on the turnover from the goaltender, and that time uh, he just wired it. And that's just clever passing, savvy passing. We we mentioned the fact that, you know, the late goal in period two might give Owen Sound a bit of momentum. Well, what a way to snare momentum back in your favor. If you're St. John, you score 61 seconds into the third period. And this is something that... Uh, 
you know, uh, full credit to the Sea Dogs who who were able to to kind of dig their heels in and not allow Owen Sound to capitalize on all that momentum. Well, you mentioned a goal in the final minute, a goal in the first minute. How about 61 seconds into period three to increase the gap in the lead back to two? But not a comfortable one. Owen Sound right there as they tried to cycle and neutralize. St. John back on the right side. We'll keep an eye, too, on Nolan Patno as this game uh, gets moving along. Noah in net for St. John. Not facing many shots. We'll see if he's able to stay mentally tough down the stretch. Guzda does, and he splashes the leather to deny a point-blank shot opportunity at center ice. And the attack go the other way. Rebound! Sneaks past the pad, but not past the goal line. St. John just avoids giving one back, and Owen Sound with possession. Working at blue line, down low, cutting across. There was the lane again. The attack are surging right now. They work it high. Out of the wall for Lyle. In tight. Pierce into center. Great play developed. A fantastic stop by Patno. And the Sea Dogs take it the other direction. Up ice, right wing, lasered on. Quick hockey back and forth. One save leads to an offensive opportunity. And we are flying here in this third. Across the blue line. To the point. It's Willie across and a diving save. Sprawled out. Full extension to his left. Noah Patno have a day. What a third period for him. And now it's settled by St. John. Holy damn, these were chances galore in the third. You're, you're painting a wonderful picture, my friend. And then this is uh, this is classic clutch goaltending from St. John. I mean, Owen Sound, you're down by two. You've got to kind of up the ante a bit offensively. And full credit, they're doing exactly that. But... Uh, you touched on it, some phenomenal saves and some timely goaltending. It's been a factor in a lot of the games that we've seen so far today and some clutch saves keeping his team ahead by two. And because of those clutch saves, it leads to offense the other side. The fifth goal of the game, McDonald tacks another in on a backhanded sweeped in right post. 5-2 now the score and St. John trying to take control of this one. McDonald's been a factor in this game, no doubt. And, and that time it was just following up kind of that third guy in off the rush. And, you know, not a whole lot you can do about that defensively. I mean, you have three white sweaters all kind of in that triangle area. Hockey analytics will tell you that's where a lot of your offense is going to come from. And that's a three goal cushion now for the St. John Sea Dogs. McDonald gets the goal. And so now uh, an uphill battle, certainly for Owen Sound, but uh, they're certainly not out of it yet. St. John, an expansion team in 2005. They already have a Memorial Cup championship under their belt in 2011. How about some Hall of Famers? There's two of them, but boy, are they good ones. Mike Thomas, Jonathan Huberto, both in the Sea Dogs Hall of Fame. Riley Bezo trying to go into the Hall of Fame if he could ride this to the next round and go on a championship run back in the defensive zone lipped up on the right wing and it's intercepted by Owen Sound good takeaway and here come the Sea Dogs final six to go in regulation a little forehand shot denied who's the stayed with him the whole way and if it weren't for his play in net this game could be getting out of reach a tad but Owen Sound very much in this one thanks to a nearly 20 save performance from Guzda and Net. Dudas over to the wing. Sending it back across Robertson up to Papa. He'll spin at the point for Dudas looking for open real estate. He found it and the shot just missiles wide. On the right wing now. Here we come for the Sea Dogs. Give him back over to Robertson. Papa will start the attack as he goes to the bench. And a good cut to center. Two on one forming. Coming across and a backhander stopped. And given over to the corner. Three minutes to play. That would have been a huge goal for Owen Sound. And now out for Dudas. To the wing. Rink wide pass connects. Wobbles in front of the skaters. And given back over to St. John. Now across as we go to center ice. Taking it through 2 on 0. One timer comes. Guzda there to answer the task. Final minute of play. In this round one action between Riley Bezo and Sam Sedley in the CHL Memorial E-Cup presented by Kia. 
Take away for the Sea Dogs. Given back over to the wing. Owen Sound. Across! It rings the iron! What a shot, but inches off from getting to the third of the game. Now for the Sea Dogs to the glove of Guzda, and he'll hear the whistle to give his team a quick break. Yeah, that's close. Uh, I mean, it's amazing how a save or a goal post can, can be all the difference. And I, I give full credit to Owen Sound. They are not going quietly into the afternoon. No way. Uh, and we got ourselves a, a late scrap by the looks of it. Ding, ding. We'll have a final tilt in the final minutes. Reynolds and Para trying to size each other up. We'll go with an uppercut that connects and then a couple of misses by both sides swinging aggressively and this one connects on the chin twice now it's owen sound coming back with a few rights but reynolds has the final say and st john taking out the competitor in the fight in the final 40 seconds well i know reynolds has a goal he's now got a fight and i'm, I'm pretty certain he's factored in another one so uh so channeling his inner gordy howe with that one but um you know, final stage here, I, I like it. A lot of pride being shown by, by Owen Sound and, you know, uh, Andrew Perrot with, a, you know, a good effort there. That was that was a very even scrap. But uh, Peter Reynolds, you know, he's had a good game. He's been a focal point of, of really everything that St. John has done successfully in this game. 36 seconds to go and a shot off the draw that goes just wide. Yeah, you're right, Dan. Just a chance to get some frustration out. And Owen Sound really could have taken this one as well. A couple more chances just would have gone in for them. And we'll take one final penalty. It looks like a sweeping effort of a stick at center found a leg. So Owen Sound gets the power play to end this. They're going to opt to pull the goaltender, trying to bring it back within two. Good move by the attack. We'll see if Sam Sedley can capitalize. They'll put it over to the wing. Back across. It was there, but it bounced awkwardly off his skate. Now Owen Sound behind the defense, curling one. That's right to the chest of Patno. Final 12, shot blocked. Skating now to St. John. Looking just to expire the final seconds in this one. They give it back to the attack for a final rush. Curled back across the blue line. A wrist shot towards center. Couldn't find the teammate in time and that'll do it. A 5-2 victory in round one of the CHL Memorial E-Cup for the St. John Sea Dogs, represented by Riley Bezo of Mansfield, Massachusetts. Well, I mean, it was, a, it was a good game. And I think that, you know, certainly the shots on goal and some of the territorial play went to St. John. And, and I think, you know, an early break, you know, capitalizing off a turnover from the goaltender was, was a big factor. But... You know, I think just a, an all-around strong, responsible game from the St. John Sea Dogs, and you know, even when Owen Sound was able to to kind of corner momentum and and get spurts of good looks, uh, a goalpost or two, some big saves, and just a responsible game played by St. John, leading them to the 5-2 victory. Well, 5-2 will do it for this one. A few more games still coming up. We have an interview as well, so be sure to stick around for that. And we've kind of had a whole mixed bag of uh, different games, different scenarios, Dan. Uh, but one of the things that's been different is players in front of the net seem to succeed. you got to find those lanes and put bodies. Owen Sound did that. They just couldn't get enough pucks through traffic. Meanwhile, St. John did. That was the difference. They held the shot advantage as well. 24 to 11 is the final stat line. Uh, neither team scoring on the power play, but a lot of aggressive five on five ice action. And it paid off for the Sea Dogs this time and a great showing uh, for them to move on to the next round uh, where we'll see who they will face in round two. For sure. And, and I mean, uh, we'll, we'll talk to our winner here in a moment, but uh, you know, we're, we've got some solid hockey played so far here today. Bring on game number five in a few moments time. All right, the interview coming up next. Stick around for the backside of this commercial. We'll see you there. 5-2 final as St. John takes off Owen Sound.
Welcome back to the CHL Memorial E Cup presented by Kia. The final score, St. John 5, Owen Sound 2. And right now, Riley Bizu of the St. John Sea Dogs joins me. Riley, uh, an early break in this game, kind of capitalizing off the, the goaltender turnover, put you up early in this game. Can you talk about you know the early break? Sometimes it takes a bit of a stroke of luck, but but you rode it to victory. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, nice to get the first one and keep going, I guess. You know, you you had the advantage in shots, but but Owen Sound, to their credit, they kept hanging around towards the end of the second period. They scored to make it 3-2. Very important for you in the third period to come out and score another early one. Was that a, a turning point for you, making sure that you eliminated any of their momentum early in the third period? Uh, yeah. After I scored that one first minute in, felt pretty confident. So, yeah. Tell me about your day leading into this. How much practice went into this? Were you practicing against teammates, practicing against other buddies, uh, you know, in the league? Yeah, I played uh, two or three games against uh, some of my teammates. Just to uh, to kind of get yourself ready, and now all of a sudden you're advancing to the final 32. Uh, does it feel good to kind of have the first game under your belt, eliminating some of the nerves, and, and now exciting to kind of see how things can shape up for you moving forward? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, and then I guess just finally, I mean, for for fans of the Sea Dogs watching in, uh, anything you want to say to the fans, Billets, anybody who's rooting you on today? Uh, thanks for uh, coming out to watch. I guess. Appreciate Congratulations it. on the win, Riley. All the best uh, moving forward. Thank you. Five, five, two, the final four. The St. John Sea Dogs defeat the Owen Sound attack. attack. We'll, we'll be back, back with the next, next game, game right after this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 